Interest rates are on the rise, which could have major implications for earnings at the country's biggest banks. Let's talk more about this with Huntington Bank Share CEO Stephen Steinauer. Stephen, always great to get some time with you. So you, you and your team and, and your banks, bank branches are right in the, the heartland of America. A lot of uh, small businesses, medium-sized businesses dealing with high levels of inflation. How is the economy looking from that standpoint? The economy looks very, very strong. And there's a a lot of economic activity going on. Uh, it's supply chain, labor, uh, supply chain constrained, labor constrained. Um, uh, and it's been this way for a couple of years. There's, there's a lot of manufacturing onshoring or reshoring. And then there's economic development activity. We've never seen this level of activity here in central Ohio with the Intel multiple chip announcement. So they announced two at $20 billion at the start of the year. There's a, a, a site development set for another six, so a total of $100 billion. And then there'll be suppliers on top of that. And, and we've got a lot of other economic activity. Amgen announced Facebook's doing a, a, an expansion of their data center. It's just a lot going on in the Midwest. And, and I, I'm focused here in Columbus at the moment with those comments. You say the same thing about Detroit or Indianapolis or, or Cincinnati or Cleveland. So uh, it's a great time to be doing business here. And Steve, it's Julie here. It's good to see you. So you guys experience commercial loan growth, which is not something we've been able to, that all banks have been able to say. Is that indeed a function of where you are um, and the character of the small business community where you guys are located? I think our colleagues have just done a great job serving our clients over an extended period of time. And that has set up relationships. And we are a relationship-oriented bank. And we did a large acquisition last year of TCF Financial, and that has given us depth in Michigan and Chicago land and uh, expansion markets, great markets like the Twin Cities of Minnesota and uh, uh, Denver as well. So on on many of our markets, we're we're across the board growing. Certainly for small businesses, this has been a good period of of economic recovery uh, since the pandemic started a couple of years ago. Steve, how difficult is it to staff bank branches right now in this tight labor market? Well, everybody's uh, having staffing challenges. You look at restaurants or, manu or manufacturers, distributors, everybody, and that includes us with bank branches. So we're, we're asking a lot of our colleagues. We've done a lot on, on, on uh, compensation and benefits. We'll continue to do that. Uh, we're putting an extra $1,000 into 401ks uh, across the company this quarter, for example. And there'll be other activities that we'll, we'll, we'll look to do to, to help our colleagues get through this inflationary period. Um, so let's look forward a little bit and look at not just the inflationary period, but the rising rate period, right, which um, can be sort of a blessing and a curse for a bank like yours. On the plus side, obviously, you've got expanded net interest margin. On the downside, um, can be a crimp on growth. So how are you expecting that to play out over the coming six months to a year? Our business lines are very well positioned in this regard. We are number six or seven in terms of equipment finance. So a lot of automation to supplant the lack of labor is, is going to occur. It's in process. More of that will occur in the Midwest as uh, industrials reshore. A lot of that will be in the Midwest. And then we have one of the largest inventory finance businesses, dedicated inventory finance businesses that supports dealers around the, the country. There are about 14,000 dealers we support and, and a number of OEMs. So that business will, will do very well. Then the nature of a relationship business, we're, we've seen now with just-in-time inventory that it, it works great right until it doesn't. And when it doesn't, it's a big problem. So you're going to see inventory build uh, across, the, uh, across the spectrum, I, th I think. And we've got, I don't know, half million uh, business customers, uh, many of whom are going to have to, to continue to build inventory or will will have higher payroll. So they're going to need more working capital or other forms of support. And we're beautifully positioned. We've got a lot of capital and liquidity to help them. Steve, are you concerned that we could be nearing a recession? I'm not at this stage. Now, the, a lot it depends on how much the Fed does, how quickly they do, what quantitative tightening uh, occurs. And of course, we can't be, we're not immune to what's going on in uh, the tragedy in Ukraine and, and, and the knock on effect uh, in Europe. But, but for the things that we see and control and can control, we really like the the future over certainly 22 and, and potentially beyond. Many of our customers are dealing with backlogs into 23, some into 24. So this is we're in an expansionary uh, moment, and it's not just this year. And if if the Fed orchestrates its soft landing and brings inflation under control, I think it's going to be a great great couple. It has the potential to be a great couple of years. 
Steve, good to see you. Steve Steinauer is Huntington Bankshares Chairman and CEO. Thanks for your time this morning.